Well, Rome was the rest center. And uh, the Pope at that time, I call him Hitler's Pope. Uh, he uh, was very close to Hitler. And um, he, uh, the, so therefore, the Germans did not attack Rome. The United States did not attack Rome. And Mussolini was Italy. So the, Rome was about the only city that was intact because everything else, they didn't have pinpoint bombing, but they were leveled. The buildings were leveled. So we had rest leaves. And I went up to Rome about four or five times. And in process of being there, a lot of the stuff was financed by the Red Cross. And we could get tours to the Vatican, tours to the operas for 35 cents. We could get seven course meals for 35 cents with roving violins. And I didn't attend many operas because I wasn't used to operas. I'm, I was just getting out of the hood. So therefore, <clears throat> I couldn't appreciate the operas. So, but I could appreciate classical music from listening to it on the radio. So I went to the Vatican, Vatican Gardens. I went to the catacombs as a part of a tour and a part of my rest leave. At that time, the Swiss guard would bring him in to the cistern chapel on the sedan chair on their shoulders. And he, we had all of our rosaries and with catacomb dirt and stuff that we had. And he would come in and bless them. And then he uh, <clears throat> would greet each one in the cistern chapel. He'd speak to us. Then we'd all go up and kiss the Pope's ring and, and genuflect. But I genuflect, but I didn't kiss his, kiss his ring. And he said, you are American, are you? And I'm standing there in uniform. I said, how the heck he figured out I was an American?